Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. This is a video all about RTX voice on non RTX graphics cards. Apparently, you can do it, so I thought I'd uh, do a little video showing you how to uh, set it up and how to get it running. So, first of all, you need to go ahead and download the executable file for it, which comes in as a f the, the latest version I've got here is RTX voice. Uh, 0 0.5.12.6 and it's a three, 300 yeah sure that's right it's a 327 megabyte file now this uh file you can get it from if you go to the nvidia site or just google rtx voice and then you need to find this page here and this is all to do with the setup and then um as it says here um about it tells you all about what it is and you're like where'd you download it you go down here and there's a sec there's a little section here so if I open it on a new window that that's how you download it but I've already got that so we don't need to do that bit now so what we're going to do is we're going to go and download it and then we're going to run it now I'm already in a folder here called temp because this is where it installs it to now it will come up with a message saying that it can't install it. So you get this error message here that it doesn't work. Now what you want to do now is if you go into this folder and then go into NVAFX and then there's a file here NVI. Now if you open this, so right click and do open with, I'm, I'm just going to open it with Notepad. You can use Notepad++, you can use WordPad as well if you want, whatever you want. So this is going to open this file. And now there's a section here called constraints. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure you delete the start of the constraints and the end of constraints. And this is um, like a, a, a requirement for the the the, the, in, the installer is going to look into this this thing to see if you if you're allowed to do it. And this is the block message. So look, can't install install block message. So we're gonna we're gonna yoink that out. I don't think it matters if you have the same layout on this, but I will do it anyway. Okay, if you're a programmer, you're probably thanking me. Now we need to save this. So if we just do save. Oh, we don't have permission. There we go. Yes, so this this is a problem I read about and thought, no, that don't make a difference. Yeah, it does. Right, if we open, if we open this as a, an admin, Right, so we need to open that as an, an admin. So if you go and we'll do it this way. If you right click Notepad, run as administrator. We'll just do star dot star to show all. We'll click on the file, we'll click open. And then we've got the constraints here. So again, we're going to delete it. Save. Now you can quit it. Then we'll come back to this folder here. We can close that one down now. Now if we run setup now, click yes there we go so now it's going to install it's going to install the uh, the driver for it so there you go that's installed so now it's going to run so as you can see now it's um it uses ai to remove background noise from audio so you first of all you need to choose your um microphone so mine is this one here which is high def recording device and then you can choose your audio. My my default one is uh, speakers. You should be able to see all that from, if you go into your um, sound settings, I think it is. So you can see what I've got. I've got mine set up, up to in there. So you can see it's working there. Look, I've got my microphone working there. And I've not got any audio playing at the moment, but if I did, you'd see the speakers, uh, you know, going in, going in here. Now, normally, I think I, I think I normally have my speakers set to high def audio like that, though. Yeah, I don't know if you need to use a, a both or not. Okay, so I've just gone into uh, had a little dig around in the settings. So when you uh, run this, I've just got mine set to now. Input device is going to be set to my microphone, and then my output is set to my uh, speakers there, like that. Now this is running, although you can't tell it's running. So we're going to do a little little. A little, little. <laughs> We're going to do a little audio test and trying to show you how it's useful because this, this, this program literally, it's if you've ever messed around with Reaper FX and Audacity noise removal and all that, this, this is if you've got an if you've got an Nvidia card, it's it's a pretty much game changer to workflow for content creators. It's really good. So we're going to go into Audacity 
And in here, as you can see, I've got a microphone selected as NVIDIA RTX voice. And we're going to do record on this. Okay, so we're going to do a little test sample and then we are going to come back into it and see how it works. So I'm going to bash the keyboard a few times and then we will put it on and put it off. So here we go. This is my lovely voice. Isn't it lovely? Please subscribe. This is my lovely voice. Isn't it wonderful? Please subscribe. Okay, there's my little basic recording there with my subliminal message to you all. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, this is, as you, as you can see from the waveforms, this is with no effects and my raw, gorgeous voice. So here we go. Ooh, this is my lovely voice. Isn't it lovely? Please subscribe. Oh, that's hot. That's 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 nasty. That's nasty. That's painful for me to listen to. This is my lovely voice. Isn't it wonderful? Please subscribe. How amazing is that? Look at the waveforms. There's nothing. It's not. I've missed. I mean, if you've ever gone into these apps and used uh, noise gates and stuff, that's just that is pretty much. I'm. That's mind blowing. Now, I don't know why you can't use this on RTX cards by default because, I mean, non RTX cards, because look at it. This is my lovely voice. Isn't it wonderful? How? How does it do it? This is my lovely voice. Isn't it lovely? Please subscribe. I don't understand. I don't understand how it looks. It's not picking anything up at all. And that's on 100%. So you could, you could reduce that, I guess. Now, let's do a little experiment. I'm going to leave that on and do record. So, oh, no, no, no. We need to press buttons, but not stop it recording. Okay, so is this good enough to still cut out the sounds of my Frantic Legion Legends button bashing as I'm talking? Now, whereabouts did I do that then? Here. Okay, so is this good enough to still cut out the sounds of my Frantic Legion Legends button <gasps> bashing as I'm talking? How? I, I, I literally do not understand how that works. Now, if we go back to the uh, NVIDIA site here, this is compatible. Not only is this amazing, it's compatible <laughs> with all of these things. Now, I've currently got OBS Studio running, so I'm probably going to create a, a warp in a matrix if I try and mess around with this. But if you go into your settings, your output, your audio, no, no, it's not going to be under, is it? We need to change our audio settings. Here we go, audio. Now, I should be able to change it in there. If you check, do RTX voice there, and then you should be able to, uh, you know, hear it so that's that's obs let's let's hide that and pretend let's hope we don't break it now you can do it with all other apps as well so you can even do it with skype so as you can see i i use skype quite a lot my last message was 2017 from uh victoria who wants to add me apparently uh if you go into your little cog in here so if you go into your audio setting audio and video setting here you can do it in there we can also as you see we've seen obs stream labs as well if you use that you can do it in here. So if you log into your dashboard, go into here, go into audio, and then change your microphone here. So I might need to restart this actually. Let me just restart this a quick hot second. Because I've just installed this and I'd run this already. So let's go into here, audio, Microphone, are you going to be there magically? Yes, there you go. Just change that to that, and that will be peachy. Um, Skype, we've done that. Uh, oh, Zoom, yeah, apparently Zoom does it as well. So if we go to Zoom settings, audio again, you can change your change it to RTX voice in there. You can see it's still working. Now, some have said you, you might need to change it to your speakers to RTX voice as well. Not actually tried that just yet. Let's see if I can still hear sound. 
yeah, so you still you can still hear system sounds. And then the last thing I'm going to look at, uh, yeah, Twitch, Yieldy Twitch. Oh, there's me. Uh, so if you need to go into your little cog down here, go to your audio. And again, there you go. Look, there's my voice bouncing up and down. So as I've said, this is just pretty darn amazing for you know doing your your voice in fact i want to i want to do this again i, I want to try and alter the uh suppression on this and see how it affects it because generally when you're recording videos a little a little tip i used to always do was to do uh, a towel over my hand to hide my mouse clicks now i'm going to try this without um covering my mouse because mouse clicking is one of the things that i personally hate in my videos so let's go to record and we're going to try some frantic clicking on it. Let's pretend we're playing Cookie Clicker. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, I reckon. I, I reckon. I reckon it even can't even defeat that. So that's the. the we're going to play this back now and hear what it sounds like. And we're going to try some frantic clicking on it. Let's pretend we're playing Cookie Clicker. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can hear that. Now that wasn't. That wasn't. To, to be fair, that wasn't too bad because if we turn this off, if I if I do the same thing again now and do the raw the raw audio. Okay, so we're going to do the same again. And we're going to do some more cookie clicker. Okay, let us see how good that is. Okay, so we're going to do the same again. And we're going to do some more cookie clicker. Oh, that is so good. That That is really, that is... Oh, NVIDIA, please, whatever you do, don't patch this out. Uh, and the last thing I'm going to show you is with Chrome. So if you've got any apps that you use in Chrome, like Discord or, um, I don't know, any online sites, you can go into, if you go into your little, little dotty dotty dots up there, and then you type in site settings, go into this, you can go into your microphone, and then you can change your microphone there. Uh, now, bear in mind, this probably does go off whatever your default settings are. So if you've got your, if you go down here and do your sound settings, if you've got your default set to uh, use RTX voice, there's a chance a lot of apps might pick up on that anyway. But to be sure, we've done it the long-winded waffly way. Anyway, that is it for now. So this is how to get NVIDIA RTX voice on non-RTX cards. Thank you for watching, and if this helped you at all and you think it's amazing, leave a thumbs up and a comment. Thank you for watching. See you next time.